everybody. We're taking this week's video outside and then we're gonna go inside because I'm gonna show you what I do skincare wise when it comes to Botox and filler. Okay, so usually you'd have to go, of course, to an office to get your Botox, your filler done, but mm -hmm. Dr. Shirley Madeer now has Jet Set Beauty. So we're gonna go inside because the Botox is being brought to us. So this is super cool. This is my first time doing this, bringing the art of beauty to you with next level medical aesthetic house calls. That's what it is. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna knock on the door and see what's inside. And I'm gonna show you what I get done. Welcome to Jet Set Beauty RX. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I am so excited about this. Dr. Shirley Madeira, we've been dear friends for a very, very long time. Yes. Very, very long time, right? Very long. And she's made a lot of, she's done a lot of things to my face, um, but I you always try to make sure, thank you. But she always makes sure that I never step out and look different in any way. But today we're in Jet Set Beauty. So as it turns out, during um, the past couple of years, I was thinking about doing things differently. I've been doing house calls for well over 10 years, and I thought, how could I make it better? Especially given the global circumstances, I thought, I know I could do this better and I could take it to the next level. So my house call services has always been called Jet Set Beauty RX, but now what makes it different is that I'm even more mobile. So I, I love this. This is so I, great. I tricked out a Mercedes van, <laughs> <laughs> of course. And this is Jet Set Beauty RX on wheels. I so love it. mobile aesthetic services on time, every time on your time. <laughs> so what can you do inside of here? This is just like going to a doctor's office. Well, this is like going to a doctor's office in the sense that there are protocols, everything is safe and clean and wiped down, disinfected, etc. There are only certain things that I can do in here. I will not do surgery in here for obvious reasons, but this is a surgical chair and it has multiple positions. So I do injectables in here. I can do chemical peels, vitamin infusions, um, removing little moles and little skin things, skin care. So a lot. I want her to stay parked here outside of my house for as long as possible. But then everyone would know what we're doing. <laughs> They're going to know. Okay, let's get started, right? Okay, let's get started. So, Tamsin, I know you've had Botox maybe once yes. before. So I'm going to ask you and that we take everything from the beginning mm -hmm, as if mm -hmm. this is your first time. Yeah. Okay, so you're interested in Botox where? Yes. Uh, I think I'm seeing more of a problem here these days. Okay. Right in my Grease, and then I'm looking around my mouth too because I'm having problems smiling. Uh huh. So I don't know what I need. Uh huh. Okay. Well, let's address one thing at a time. Okay. If you're interested in having these lines in between your brows, sometimes mm -hmm. called the 11s, yes, my and, 11s. and from your frowning, from those muscles, then that can be treated with Botox very easily. Okay. Okay. Now, the second thing is around your laugh lines. That really isn't a place that we typically treat with Botox. Okay. That's something that could be more suited for a filler. Okay. Now, a filler is also an injectable, but it's different from Botox because right. it fills. A bo Botox is not a filler at all. It is an injectable, but it works on the muscle. So Botox works on the muscle to smooth out the lines. A filler doesn't work on the muscle. Right. It sits in the skin or under the skin to fill out any lines. What are you seeing people do more of these days? Oh boy, people are doing lots of things these days. So definitely Botox, injectable fillers okay. also. And then when it comes to the fillers, we're doing more fillers on the mid face to give a little volume and contour mm -hmm. as well as the lips. Okay. I'm also seeing people do injectable fillers at the jawline for better definition. I like that idea. So, you know, I talk a lot on this channel about midlife and face and uh, I've not done a surgery yet on my face, but I do want to do as much as I can before, before I go to that level. Of course. So where do you see that I need something? If you are interested in doing some anti-aging, there are a yes. few things that I would have you consider. Okay. Let's so see. one of them is when you animate and raise your brows, I see that your eyebrows are peaking mm -hmm. sort of at the midpoint. So I mm -hmm. would just soften that a bit, but not too much, mm -hmm. just to yep. create less of a less of a stern look. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I see is that you are starting to get some volume loss underneath mm -hmm. your eyes because my cotton swab is now right on the bone underneath mm -hmm. your eye. Mm -hmm. 
So I need okay. to do a little bit here. So maybe that's yeah. something that you can consider for the future, doing a little bit of a filler there since you're okay. not right, ready for surgery. Okay. As you mentioned, you said yeah, you're starting to smile funny mm -hmm. and your laugh lines are not very deep. Your nasolabial folds are not very deep, but I do see that you could possibly use a little bit of filler there mm -hmm. just to sort of soften things out a bit. Okay. Also in terms of your lips, you have nice very nice lips <laughs> i'm but, starting to see some dynamic yeah. wrinkles yeah i noticed that from on, on your upper bit, lip right? and they're thinning a little bit and they're sort of starting to the distance between the bottom of your nose and your top of your lip is getting lengthened and that's a very aging look okay so that's something else that we can do with filler let's fix it <laughs> <laughs> are you ready we're ready let's start with botox okay all right what are these? Find everything. here fix my life <laughs> so this is for people some people might have not have ever had botox before yes um, but i want to you know people have asked what i've done for my skin and i just want to say like i try to do the least but i'm 51 years old you know uh i need i need some tweaks yeah. <laughs> little help from your yes. plastic surgery friends yes. excellent all right tamsin i'm going to ask you to animate for me so just follow my instructions and raise your eyebrows and relax Raise your eyebrows again and just hold there. I see that when you're raising your eyebrows, you're using this muscle called the frontalis muscle and it's pulling a little bit more here at the center of your brow and it's causing this peak. Mm -hmm. But interestingly enough, on your left side, this eyebrow muscle, this frontalis muscle is pulling even more so that this peak is higher than that peak. Okay. So what I'm going to attempt to do with the Botox is I'm going to try to create more symmetry release some of that pulling on that muscle and have the muscle relax your eyebrows a bit so they're not as pulled okay. at the middle. Does that sound agreeable? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you ready? Ready. Great. Raise your brows and relax. Raise your brows again and relax. Here we go on three. One, two, three. Ouch. Raise again, relax. She Ouch. makes the sound for you. <laughs> Some of my patients have said that the sound is absolutely annoying, so let me know yeah. if it is. <laughs> Raise again, relax. Ouch. Excellent. And again, I just want to create a more harmonious look, so rather than just treating one area, I'm going to treat your entire forehead, but obviously not the same dose. So raise again and relax, raise again, Relax, here we go. On three. One, two, three. Ouch. And so, you know, when Ouch. you do this, it does not take right away, right? No. Ouch. I must felt that one. My apologies. So, with Botox, because it takes a while for it to have an effect, because of the way that it works, the mechanism of action, you can see results anywhere from two days for some very sensitive people up to two full weeks. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to see results right away. It is going to take a few days. On average, it might be about five days before you see your mm -hmm. results. Okay, so we're going to just treat very softly your crow's feet. Not that you have many, you don't. <laughs> so smile for me and relax. Smile again, relax, smile again, relax. On three, here we go. One, two, three. Ouch. Good, I can feel, I can feel some of the places where the needle hits, but feel good wonderful i'm just going to have you hold mm -hmm. pressure because all injections obviously produce some bleeding mm -hmm. and that's to be expected yeah. however we don't want the bleeding to be excessive or to cause bruising so i'm going to have you hold pressure and after a couple of minutes i'm going to have you put on ice packs mm -hmm. so just relax continue to breathe deeply <sighs> and exhale and for people that have not had this done before um how much you know they have questions like how much botox do you use what are what are some of those answers i don't even know how to answer those things for me everyone is an individual it does have obviously it is helpful to be able to have some templates in mind but i look at the patient i look at how the patient moves i look at if there are any asymmetries or any places where there's no harmony i also not only look at the part of the face where I plan on treating, I look at the whole face. Mm -hmm. And then of course I have a conversation with the patient. What look do you want to have? What results are you looking for? And all of that will be different. How strong are your muscles? How not so strong are the muscles? All of those factors I take into consideration when I determine the dose, the amount, the concentration, the volume that I'll be using. So. 
There is science to it, but there's also an art. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Jet Set Beauty, Botox is done. I'm going back inside my house, as easy as that. Anyway, I'm gonna list down below everything that we did, and I'll see you next week.